viewers, welcome to our program development zone where we celebrate achievers, unveil the core potential of our dear nation, and also celebrate those who have contributed immensely to the greater of our country. Today on the program, we'll be talking security and we'll be chatting with Dr. Ambassador Okocha Morgan, he is the Director General of Security and Forensic Studies in Nigeria. He will be sharing his view about the security implication of the new Naira note in our nation today and his view about the forthcoming general election. Sit back, relax, I'll be right back. We'll start with security and forensic study in Nigeria uh, was uh, initiated borrowing the leave of the developmental standard of the country, just like the developing country where Nigeria fall as one. And the practice of forensic came on board when a lot of electronics uh, appliances were used in Nigeria. Uh, just like GSM, television, and uh, cameras, cameras that can uh, record uh, like CCTV. So the history of forensic in Nigeria came on board because of the need it has for establishment uh, of uh, evidence admissible in court. So the registration was made in Nigeria for the practice of uh, electronic generated evidence to be admitted in court. So based on that, the 2011, the National Assembly passed the bill and was signed to law for court to admit any electronic evidence to be admitted to court as an evidence. So um, when this uh, law was made, some of us uh, came up on board to fine tune the practice of forensic in Nigeria. Today, more than 7,000 individuals are experts in various fields of forensic in Nigeria. About uh, 10 individuals were trained outside the country. Uh, we are forensic experts and uh, we have helped in so many ways to uh, curtailing the crime rate in Nigeria. So uh, when the uh, Naira regeneration design came on board, the practice of forensic were called on board to seek uh, expert opinion. So uh, I think uh, your topic is not far-fetched from the practice of forensic and security. Um, but during the Electoral Act Amendment, the forensic practice were consulted in National Assembly Public Hearing, and uh, we also educated National Assembly on how it's going to go for the amendment, how forensic practice will come in. Although we give three instances and three basic activities of forensic to um, reduce uh, the cost effect and the security risk of security personnel and the life of the INEC staff in the field. But one were picked for transmission of results through electronic media uh, process. So uh, the INEC and the populace have been educated to um, abide by the use or BVAS. This is a machine for capturing. This is a means of electronic media. So we have started educating the electorate on how to thumbprint, on how to vote. We have started educating the people in the village, the women, market women, on the importance of knowing how to uh, thumbprint. As I'm talking to you, a lot of educations are going on on test running of this machine for voting. So I think, uh, I believe that this election is going to be free and fair, credible election. So I want to thank Mr. President for accepting to endorse the recent electoral act that was made. Okay. When you, this question is asked, in several occasions, I have always asked Nigerian to be calm. Because when this redesign of Naira notes came on board, 
Security and Forensic Study in Nigeria pick an interest for a seminar, for the seminar we had at uh, Merit House. The topic was the redesign of Naira, the important and the security expert concept. I was able to tell Nigerians um, before this uh, the, uh, the Naira was uh, redesigned, I told Nigerians that should, there should be a time that this redesign of Naira is going to curb a lot of insecurity, is going to curb kidnapping, is going to curb robbery, is going to curb a lot of economic instabilities. Like as I tell you today, the dollar note, dollar uh, rates of exchange today is 450 Naira, unlike 1,950 it used to be. So this redesign of Naira has helped in the market sectors internationally. So I am going to tell you that if this practice is fully implemented, it's going to equate the rate of Naira dollar will be 100 by 100. One dollar to hundred. So, the the redesign of Naira. These are the policies have time lag of crisis. I want to advise Nigerians that we should bear with the government. In a short while, this crisis will be over, and all of us will enjoy it. Let me give you an instance. Since this Naira note was redesign was implemented, have you ever heard of kidnapping? Have you ever heard of uh, um, theft, robbery, and all this? It has minimized. In fact, I want to tell you from record, since this implementation, there is no kidnapping, no bomb blast of any type. Go and research. This few periods, over two weeks, this implementation, implementation started. The thief find it difficult. How do you go to somebody that don't have money in his house? Do you want him to transfer money to you? If yes, okay. Transfer should be made. The next day they will track the owner of the transfer the account. Or thief want to come to your house to carry you to where? To pay ransom. How will you get the money? So this this policy is saving Nigeria from the lapidation of insecurity. Because if, if if criminals now want to go to people's want to kidnap and they know that even using ATM you cannot withdraw more than twenty thousand a day. How long are you going to keep this person? One month, how much? Sixty thousand. So that will discourage a lot of uh, criminal minded uh, elements. Before now, they knew that Nigerians keep millions at home. This morning, I want to tell you that I went to bank to queue. And I was given 20,000 Naira with three accounts. Company account, 20,000 Naira. And I was happy. I was proud to tell people that were complaining that, please, let us not condemn the government. This is a time of crisis. It will be over. It will be over in the sense that the, the, in, the gain we are going to get in commercial with international standards is going to be a normal because before now, I traveled outside the country and I discovered Naira was the same amount of cities, surface. But today, with this two, two weeks implementation, we are far better than, Naira is far better than cities and surface. 400 naira, I guess 900 or 1,000 used to be. So if we had allowed all these issues to continue without this implementation, let me tell you that you will have one million, but you don't, you will not have what to, you don't have what to buy with it. You can't buy anything with it. That is inflation, excess money, in circulation, but you cannot use it to purchase anything. So this implementation is timing. So I want to use the opportunity to beg the Nigerian populace that they should bear with the government. So many persons say they is, I used to attack one set of politics, politicians. Or no. I'm not after that. But when a policy is made, we should accept it. Naira 
the redesign before now, we normally have it after four four years. But this time around, we had it about nineteen years ago. So it's it's over it's overdue for redesign of Naira. It is not targeted to any politician. It is not targeted to any individuals. It is targeted to people that are defrauding the government. People pack money in their office offices and share money in bags in Ghana was good. It is not going to be like that again. People go to occasion with bags of to spray money. The the valuing the, the naira. The valuing the current is a crime to go and spray money in the in publics. It is a crime. So I want to use this opportunity to beg the federal government and CBN to implement this policy to the latter. They should work in hand with people that are selling this money. I want to tell you that as it is now, people are selling money. People will go and buy 1,000 against 1,500 or so. So if these are policies that should be, in fact, they should put up a measure to checkmate the crime-related uh, activities in the redesign of Nairas. How are we going to postpone the deadline? I have had quotas of individuals that they should use new Naira and old Naira, peri pesu, that is used this at the same time. It is not a policy. When there is a policy, you should try to implement that policy to the latter. So many persons will complain. I know when I was in the village then, when they changed Naira, some people in the village, they, some people that went to hit their money in the village, some of them couldn't change the money. Policy has negative and it has positive. The time frame given by CBN is enough for whoever that wants to change the money. Anybody in the village knows that the time frame is enough. Except the person knows what he's doing with the Naira. People should go to their rooms, pack the old Naira, deposit to the bank, now and tomorrow. It will be helpful. So that is when the, 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 the federal government or through the CBN should also checkmate the banks. Yesterday, uh, they were, some banks were, some bank managers were arrested for holding money. It is criminal. It is criminal to sell non, uh, dollar, uh, currency. It is even criminal to use dollar in Nigeria. You cannot use no, that, uh, dollar in Nigeria. It is criminal for you to use it. So people that are holding that uh, dollar now, where are they going to use it? Is it when they travel abroad? Okay, when they travel, okay, and when you are caught with excess dollar, you'll be arrested. So the government should put up a strange machineries in place to arrest any kind of criminal element, criminal activity that may emanate from this policy by arresting the bank manager who refused to release money or who decided to sell money. We have amount of money you can take from the counter. They should implement it to the latter. It will help the poor masses. I want to tell you, it will help the poor masses. So the government should also uh, know that it is not targeted to anybody. This policy is not is timing because, in fact, it's overdue. Politics is not about spending money. Politics is telling your people, I can do this, or people knowing that what your credibility and the vote for you. So the issue of selling a uh, vote or you selling your conscience is not now. The activities in place now is credibility, justice, equity, and fairness. And that is why I am also for that purpose. Vote buying is a crime. Vote buying is a crime. Vote, vote selling is a crime. This policy is to reduce this kind of criminal activities. It is targeted to reduction of criminal activities generally in Nigeria. It is not only for politicians. So people should vote wise, wisely, should not set their conscience. People should not the, the the best man in the for the for the job. Let for me and for Asiwaju. Having look at what he have done, 
having look at his credibility. I don't need penny from him. I don't need dime from him. Rather, I'll be spending for him. As the chairman, Tinubu uh, Shetima Grassroot Bandit. That is my political perspective. Asuazu is the answer. The first person who implemented single IRA treasury account. All these things are measures to curb insecurity. All these are, in fact, this implemented, in fact, Asuazu is the first person who implemented the dollar redesigning. His action was after single treasury account for him to come to presidency is to change redesign the naira all these are activities that will help to reduce crime activities in nigeria so i see why you have the mind that is why if he's voted for he's going to take this policy to the latter unlike people that are coming with different view so i believe that if people vote as well in is going to fantoon, is going to activate the redesign of Nis Naira to the latter. It wouldn't be a bond, an abundant project, but it will not affect. It, if the answer is outright, it will not affect him. All machinery have been put in place. People that have decided to vote for him. Let me tell you, I was in uh, some, some of this campaign rally and I saw the mind of Nigerians for him. I saw people's interest for him. I saw people renting crowds like other political parties. The same place used. You see renting, you will see the difference between renting crowds and original crowds. You will see a doctored video and original videos. So, I mean, for instance, if I, if I see a doctor with that shot, to be able to analyze. Some of these presidential be, uh, les, uh, aspirants, they are doing edited videos to convince people, but it's not true. Aswaju's videos for campaign is original. It emanates from the right sources. So, and uh, I have taken time to carry out a survey for Asiwaju's chances, and I discover that his chances is 90%. Others are 15, others are 5. Lies, that fabricated lies. Let me tell you that you cannot compare Asiwaju with Tito B. There are two ways. Asiwaju was a governor of Lagos State for 8 years. Tito B was a governor for 8 years too. Look at the de developmental difference. Peter B was impeached in Anambra State, but later restated. Why did these people impeach him? Because of delay of policies. Because of lack of implementation of policies. People want to implement policies, and you are not approving it. How would the government, how would the state move? If you say you are saving money for the later days, yes, of course. But I saw a video where somebody was saving money, saving money, even for his student to go to best, better school. He said no. He is saving it, saving it for. He later died. The, the, son, the first son laughed and said, I think you are dead. He squandered that money. He didn't make use of the implementation. The, it was a wrong service. People are dying. People are suffering. And you say you are saving money. How are you saving money? Release money. You have a budget. And at, at the end of the day, you said you are keeping the money. You are returning the money. And you have a budget of 10 billion naira. Let me give an example. And that budget of 10 billion, you, you, you release uh, 3 million, 10 billion. At the end of the day, 7 billion is returned to government coffer. Is that management? That is poor management. So, budget is released, 7 billion. You should be able to give developmental activity, budget release, and implementation and monitoring. Making sure that you are working within the clock of that approved budget. But in terms of P2B, it's not. It's not a policy maker. It is not an achiever. Before P2B, 
When Peter will be handed over an Ambra Street. Or nature. That is where I finished my secondary school. Was in a mess. Opie Waker was a mess. But he never implemented any of these development structural activities in Mamacha or Nature. He never. But as you well as look at as well, he, he had the economic nerves. He developed it. He look at he was or during Obasan job almost two years of his leadership in Lagos. He paid the salary, he paid a sponsored project in Lagos State without money from from government. He raised res uh, uh, revenues, he raised resources from the state. In fact, Aswaju is someone who said state can pay themselves salary. But look at so many states today. They are de all depending on government. No. There are things you... you okay, Aswaju is one of them that gave, said, okay, this state, this local government is too big. He divided to development uh, structures so that the development will reach to the grassroots. But now, if Aswaju come on board, let me tell you that he's going to give autonomy to local government. And the federal government will release money to the governors. The governor will hold that money and will not release it to the local government. The governor are the one that will say, they, in fact, they pay local government salary. Which is not, that's not how it's supposed to be. The money should be released to the, down to the local government if you want development to work. I say, what do one of his agenda is to make sure local governments are independent. That is the only way that development can reach the, the, the masses. And two, his structural security architectures is one of his agenda. He's going to implement all this agenda in fullness. I may not go detail on this, but for the benefit of people who are listening, vote for Asiwajo. He is our mandate. He is the Messiah. Very much. I am Dr. Ambassador Kocha Mungan. I am the Director General of Security and Forensic Study in Nigeria. I had my training local and international. I have uh, two one in psychology and master degree law and diplomacy. And uh, I have championed forensic activities in Nigeria. And uh, have also established forensic activities in Ghana. So I think uh, with this, uh, we are going to a higher ground for forensic practice. And my dream is the government to support the practice of forensic, which I know when Asiwaju come on board. Asiwaju is one of them that established forensic DNA center in Lagos, unlike any other governor. Aswaju is the one who championed the DNA test forensic, they call it medical forensic center in Lagos. So when he come on board, he's going to uh, establish so many forensic uh, activities centers in Nigeria. So because of that, I want people to vote for Aswaju. Uh, my wife is such a person that uh, any, any, I call her now that I'm not coming back. She knows that it is my schedule. If the service call takes me to Lagos today, I just need to just put a call or send a text. She knows my my schedules. So she's not nagging over my schedule. He knows that my busy schedules. And he knows that I'm a goal oriented person and I'm an achiever and I strive for to achieve. So I don't compromise my forensic practice with my family. I take care of my family also. In the to advise Nigerians that they should be calm. There's to no, there's no cause for alarm. Yesterday I went to buy something from one um, one man from the north. He, he told me that yes, sir, you, if you come to this place two weeks time, you will not see me. I said why? He said just in giving me that information because of the election. I said no, 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 no. Okay, why are you traveling? He said the situation is uncertain. Anything can happen. I say you should tell me that your voter you registered in your village, so you are going to your village to vote. Not any situation. The situation is calm. There's no problem. 
there's no crisis at all in anywhere. So uh, whoever that have the mind to travel because of the election, thinking that the election will have issue, uh, let me assure everybody that it will be calm and there won't be problem. So people should come out in mass to vote. Welcome back. Like if you don't for my guest today, the design of the new currency is of a great advantage for every one of us in Nigeria. Like I also said, please, Nigerians, let's be patient because the government of the day had good intention towards every one of us in our country. And also take our time to stretch out points why we all need to vote for Ashwa Jubola Mentunumbu as the next president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, like, I'll be with again, I mean, the host Joseph Uzuak Bondu. Bye for now.